everyone's favorite Irishman. Mind if I film this? Oh my gosh, it's all, sir! That's what I'd like to hear. So, Marcus, <laughs> what happened? You see, Do you know I that he was in this? Or? When my gay parents realized that he never I never heard Scott uh, so I heard he got the a lobby. role and that's and when I see that facial hair is a mob handle lodged under the innovation of the uh, for so any of his do, fans. Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me very way. Seen like one and Jack Septic Eye well, video. So. I'm reaching for the thing. And the mob I, handle I, jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I, I thought I, I was the only one there. Somewhat recognize so him on site. I, I took a peek yeah. beneath the gate. And some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I have a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will ya? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. So. <laughs> That with uh, Jack Sektikai's performance. Yeah. There's no. I I thought that'd be important. Yeah. Hey, buddy, your friend. You're about to be useful. Is it? Yeah. So I'm I'm walking back. At the same way, I'm pulling him forward. I'm glad physics is somewhat respected. I thought it wasn't gonna move until he got it to a certain point. Okay. And then. Let's see if we can feather this. Okay. There you go. Huh? Go, baby, go! Bye, baby. Oh. Uh. Second. So you know how uh, Wuggy, like, left blood stains when yeah. he, like, was hitting the pipes? Oh, no. How big of a pipe blood spell did you think that, uh, that Or Barry. Because not only was he, you know, a thing, that's probably, but he was filled with other toys. That's probably a friggin' lake. It just hits the ground. That and does screenshot like a, right uh, here, you could find in a Half-Life game. I guarantee it. But like, I'm just imagining like you get to like, it hits the ground and then it just has this big like evil dead like blood explosion. Probably. Ooh, Ooh we should play Evil Dead. Yeah. I have them. That would be a fun uh, October game to play. Yes. Uh, now that we've gone through the worst spin, the worst uh, mini game, it's time to uh, get to a pretty good section. Yep. We're definitely getting two episodes out of this. I think the super cut can be something. Is something awesome. Unless as we release this, chapter three is made for like. Uh, it seems like uh, chapter three isn't going to be released yeah, until sometime 2023.
No self by reinforced steel cables. No particular reason. No difficulty. Uh, Hey, this is the, the thing uh, Jack Septic Eye's character is talking about. Yep. Jump up here. Grasp it. And you see what? Yeah, the uh, getting when you say the janky. Yeah, the hit detection really shines here. Yep. 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 There. You go. For some reason, the closer you get, the more successful it seems to be. Door open. There. Welcome just, to statues. Well, the, these, uh, this advanced obstacle course is designed to test your yeah, physical you endurance and strength. Themselves. The rules are simple. Unless, uh, unless the lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle right. course at this time. Look, However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move this again is sort of once like the lights like, turn back off. And the okay. lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test so. is over. All right. That's all. And Good luck. That area was just in. Yeah. You can hide in there. I will just like turn around to look at you as it keeps walking forward. And I've seen it get pretty far before it's just like. Yeah. Okay, bow down. Jump scare. In game design, that's called uh, enemy wall, where an enemy can't go past a certain point. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. Yeah. Or sometimes they'll ignore it and for some reason and just unload whatever weapon they're holding. Because they know if they get past that point, they're just dead. Any, so if you move, or the uh, uh, dog pillar will just jump scare you. Yep. Oh, mine is falling. And you can turn around to look at it. I'm sure you'll find a nice girl to practice that with at some point in your life. One of my favorite spells from The Witcher is where they put, where he puts, where Gerald puts his center two fingers together. Mm -hmm. Is pointer and pinky up. Yeah. And it 
is the amount. And it's basically a gust of air. So he goes, scoop! And blows a crowd of people away or a monster into a swamp. Why a swamp? Because the thing attracted to the, because the thing inside will eat the creature. Talk about a grace period. Did you get the trophy? Nope. At least you know where it's at. Well, the good thing is that even if you get got, you can still keep the trophy. Yeah. I'm sure people have seen it. Squid Games thing. Good thing is, at least you can, you know, look back at your pending doom. Without having to worry about getting caught.
Easy slide. the side of the slide. Her is hard to animate. I'm not even gonna... Yeah. It's getting on us! See our way out is uh, caved in. Yeah. So we just yep. You're and we win. You're definitely a robot. Since we, uh... yeah, we uh, just took a. Pane of glass to the face. Sadly, the shit's locked. Yeah. So we cannot go in there to disrupt the murder scenes. If there's even murder scenes in there, and it's not just Lost the broom closet from the Stanley Parable. first got here, it took me uh, such a long time to be able to, I like, didn't realize. even realize that I was supposed to go down this hole, so I was just walking around and then just whoop. Uh, yeah, you can uh, walk a bit on this pipe. And that's where I thought I was supposed to go. Just kind of. We're getting you. We're getting you to play. We're getting you to play some Half Life. I've beaten it on hard. You'd make you'd make the obvious joke about wanting to incinerate the casseroles in the butter container. Uh. He, uh, for when I was, uh, standing in the entrance, he waits a while before, uh, like, he waits, like, probably, like, 30 seconds. Yeah. Pikmin have come home to roost in Pokemon Go. Or Pikmin Bloom. Right. So I now have the full train station set. Nice. Go anywhere interesting. I, uh... I started getting my, uh... More long distance ones. And they 
ended up being like 17 hours. That's fun. Yeah, yeah it was a real uh, set and forget once. I still have some halfway down to Houston right now, and Florida, or California, one of those two. Somewhere where Disney has their hands all over their, the economy. Yeah. See you later, loser. <laughs> nice. I didn't even know I could enter through that window. You learn something new every time. Anyway, Oop. probably some sort of beta tester thing where they would it style points and just did the doodly do. Is Poppy on the other side of that? No, that's a uh, mommy's voice. No. Who's she talking to? Me, because I've gone off course. She's not uh, very happy about me going this way. It's blocked off, so to be fair. So, yeah, the, uh, as you can see, the only real punishment for it. Wait, turn around. What's that poster? No. AP long legs. Daddy long, long legs. Mommy long legs. Papa long legs. Baby long legs. Oh, baby. Maybe just baby legs. So. Yeah. So the, uh, the only real, uh, like, determinant from falling long distance. Uh, as if you're being chased. Well, it, that, that thing got in my way. But, uh, as you can see, we slow down. I imagine it's sort of like the, uh, what, like, Tom and Jerry psych gag where they land on their feet and you just see, like, the sh like, shake go through yeah. their body. For those of you who have played Super Mario Odyssey, for those of you who are younger and have not seen a Tom and Jerry, but really, they're still making Tom and Jerry. They just continue. The Mountain Dew is about nothing. It's still one of my favorites of them. Do you uh, have a favorite? I like the one where they, um... Uh, you know, uh, they float the, like, the basement and freeze it. Oh, yeah, that, that's fun. here. Oh, it's like a clock. Yep. It's cute. Okay, the top and bottom which rotate at 90 degrees, except for when they stop at annoying times. Alright. Yes, the two yes. options there clearly are in this world. Get out of here. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. Just kidding! Go have fun! Meow, 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 I think this fun. one is the, the cutest of the uh, toys. I think that's like H. Cause we only had the four in our inventory, so it's like yeah, meant for H is three and up. No. I I thought it stacked in like Minecraft blocks. Alright. I thought the same thing when I first went through this game. We got them for that scanner. Jimmy, your work as Playtime Co.'s yeah. chief marketing officer has skyrocketed the company's profits. How do you do it? You know, it's not what you'd expect. It's the little things most people don't even think about. Oh, oh I... Big names, for example. Who's this, this actor? You take the E sound, slap it on the end of a name, boom! You're making it yeah, Puggy. Mommy. I did Elliot do this way back with Poppy? I mean... I guess I kind oh, of... Blue! Blue is kind of makes I'm me think you. of Eli Roth. Blue? I bet it's blue, right? I blue? I think that blue. is. <laughs> Okay, well, you're a special okay. case. Most people the TV think, screen's a little think, bit more Marketing is yeah. not as easy as you think. I make it look easy. If there's anything Playtime Code should be known for, it's not toys. It's marketing. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Nice. So, playing Eli Roth, playing Jimmy Roth. Isn't Eli like his middle name or something? I, uh, I don't know that much about uh, Eli Roth to confirm or deny. Sometimes they're like the uh, the top will like stop in the middle. So and so I grabbed four, put one in, and the, the other three gone. Huh? 
Good to know. Yep. Because so. the last thing you need is anything in your inventory, am I right? <laughs> that would just be a distraction. You know what? Let's just make the inventory system turn against you. Because why not? Another tape. <laughs> Quick on the draw. Jump over. How, though? I left all my wire up here. Wait, there you go. Oh, that works. I'm just gonna run over to the other side. <laughs> Flush. Just glad I'm not at work. They've been having me do a very particular task in a very particular area, and my underweight self does not enjoy the cold very much. The following is a pre-recorded announcement to address the many complaints regarding an alleged very, very big spider crawling around in the facility. Not saying it. The Playtime Corporation wants me to remind you all that spiders that big do not exist. And that if they did, quote, we would already be dead anyways. And we would live in Australia. Regardless, there were all assured, the company is sending some specialists you know down here to have a look around a and relieve the constant whining. Cotton mouth and a copper head. Whining seems to be everyone's primary contribution. Yeah, they call company. it a cotton head. It's just a spider. You're all safe. Please, please, That's genius, carry on with your job. No. You know what they did, though? What? Genetically, it's an American black mamba. The black mamba will jump, can swim, jump onto boats to fight people. Not fun. Yeah, we're just the building has once again fallen victim to our big fat ass. Yeah, we need like a weight and height check on this guy, cause sure the whole high five machine may add like a couple hundred pounds. I'll grant that because that's metal and cable. Well, though this is like supposed to be for like like child use, so I don't think you'd wanna strap on something that would be heavier than the average child. If it takes place in America, that's not an issue. Obesity epidemic because they're downgrading the quality of what's in the foods. But we can't stop eating those foods. Because they're so delicious. A good amount of people live in food deserts. Chemical additives. Honestly, just dig down, make a well, and put a bunch of oak trees around it. Why? Because the oak trees will find the water, and oak trees, if tended for properly, apples. Oh, plus did shelter. Did you know that in... America, that whenever they uh, plant a tree in like a public area, yep, they plant a male tree. That's because the female tree will bear fruit, and we can't have those filthy pores getting free apples. That that's why it's technically illegal to. 
have female trees on the edge of your property. Unless you're just a good person and are willing to disregard the establishment. I swore it was a male tree. The, the soil must have given it a sex change. Which soil has been known to do. You know, like kiddo. It's the same chemicals that are turning the fox gay, turn my tree trans. Basically. Yeah. However, uh, also the, uh, since, uh, male trees also, you know, shoot out all the pollen. So not only are you not getting free food, you're also getting a lot more pollen during allergy season. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh look, I'll just grab this up. I asked you to play fair, and you cheated! Wait! Uh, One last game! Wait. Let's play another game this time. I get to win. Nine, seven, yeah. So this, this sequence feels like a chase scene, like all you really have to do is just not be standing in front of her when she finishes her countdown. Just gonna look at this for a minute for a reason. Read it? Yep. Okay. So let's go through these areas. Did you complete editing on Amanda Adventure or? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I, I sent it to you. Did I? I... Straight when, the moment I've gotten home, I've been passing straight the heck out. Yeah. Yeah. I can't blame you. I have a, I have this cat that asked for hugs. He'll be excited to see me. I'll set him down on the bed. He'll grab me by the shirt with his claws to come to, to bed. I'll, lay, I'll sit down, wake up at around midnight to, because he just wants claws. I do what I need to do. Yeah. I desire this poster for reasons. If you send me the picture, I can do a minimalist thing. Mm -hmm. Where I can print it out in certain parts in a, in a black color. Mm -hmm. And you can take whatever colors you want and do the thing that way. Nice. Yeah. You'd think it's unique with each playthrough, but it's only a 
only one uh, new plane that's Since we're up here, here's where you see the uh, solution. Nice. You know what I just realized? What? There is a. I thought, like, what? The previous times I was going through this, I thought it was just like, okay, run, red is one, two, blue, three, and then of course, that leaves red, yellow. But way back here is the four. And it just realized it. Mm. So. Oh, dead yeah. And uh, I feel like it's clear to come out of a hardy hole. The audio cue is gone, so that must mean the monster is gone. Yeah. It's uh, really play the music to tell me when I'm supposed to be scared. See something really fun? Sure. There are worse. No. Yeah, can I have. We have to make a gear. So. Yeah. It just pops into existence because they assume that I wouldn't be looking at it. Yeah. Alright, that you would. Not climb into the furnace. Outside of hiding from mommy and all legs, maybe, but. Sit down. Oh no, scared. sequences. Here, have another. Yeah, according to 
being a trying to push off with the foot. Uh, just, just, she was in a bit of a panic. Apparently, they were originally gonna have her decapitated, but she has one of her limbs. Yeah. What even grabbed her anyway? Uh, presumably it's the prototype. I don't know. It's, they've been talking about it. And that, uh, you remember the last tape of the, from episode, from chapter one? Yep. So it, it had its, um, claw on the TV. So this thing's Golden Freddy. Just the big old spooky claw. And, uh, apparently the, uh, the things we've been, uh, <coughs> encountering have been getting added, added to its, uh, self. So. Tell you about the thing I was reading from the horror house. Uh, I don't think you have. There's this woman who's married to two women. Lucky person, right? Yeah. Anyway, she's done up a webcomic of a bunch of horror characters in the same, in the same house. Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006. The prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer. Which he then fired into the security eh, camera, disabling it. To where we These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds yeah, completely unmonitored. Yeah. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went uh, in yes. to confirm his it's absence. A kid. However, kid. upon Just opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, Swipe. Another the surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. I was thinking Danny One Chinese. casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented yeah, level of intelligence beyond that of all yeah, other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. <laughs> Further suppression treatments will Just need to be enacted to ensure thing. that no other yeah. experiments develop these qualities. <laughs> Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. So, the only reason Huggy Wuggy is the, as successful as he is is because he is as submissive and intelligent as he is. Wonderful. Sure, I was definitely listening to that. Of course, we're just moving slowly. One, three, one, two, four. Head uh, back. Nice. Yeah. we grab some web or something? Got it. Slide. I thought someone was gonna pop out of that. 
Then we're uh, pretty much in the clear. Uh, we're kind of brushing up against our uh, recording time limit. So. We're almost done. I think we have enough time to let this chapter end. But this has been Poppy Playtime Chapter well, uh, 2. I was saying like our whole week time of it. Yep. But uh, I wouldn't sign out just now. We got like a couple more minutes left in the chapter. Yes, I am. That's the only way people don't bully you, is if they can't shame you if you have no sense of shame yourself. Shame, shame, shameless. Like the way Florida acts? So scared she put me back in that case. But you saved me. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. I can't let you leave. I've never met anyone like you. Ah, oh, curse your son to find that the old trail. You know how long I've been stuck in that case? Well, too long. I had so much time to I'll think of it. with me. I was going to teach you how to do taxes. I to out exactly Everything's what I tax deductible. We'll set things right. Terrible things have happened. You're getting some big Portal 2 vibes. You are capable. Well, yeah, I think I'd rather stay in this factory than have to do my taxes. Uh, fair. So, uh... Children's games with a giant i5 machine, or... W2s. Yeah. I'm Tough. sure all the children watching this will understand. Or those people who... I... I shared the... I fixed up what was an issue with the playlist and shared it with some people on Facebook. I think that got shared or no. As you can see, we're going down at a, quite a steep angle, so we're gonna stop this man. Once you hit the brake, it pops up, but as long as you don't, the, that like tunnel part just continues on forever. Yep. Alright. Well, we uh, got knocked out, so we'll have to see what happens in Chapter 3. Thank you, Isaac Christofferson, and crew who helped make this will patiently but ha happily wait for chapter 3 and I'll wait till the game is fully done to do the big gold skid it up and but I mean super cut of our let's play The uh, one of the ice cream sandwich videos, he had a, a guy falling down scared downstairs. Why was motion? Scare up! Scare up! From the you know the scat fan. Play the one about falling down the stairs onto a piano. I love Look, it. Look, it's Molly, the office dog.
Thank you, five playing. And I'm dyslexic, so that's technically correct. And now we sign up. Uh, I've been Pixel Cheesecake. I've been Shell. We'll see you in the next chapter. Laters.